Hello my loves, welcome back to my channel, I hope you're all doing so well. So today's video is another one for all of my beauty babes out there who love using more natural, organic, cruelty free, vegan makeup. I am once again going to be filming with Inika Organic. Today I'll be using their Brow Define Palette and their Baked Contour Duo. Um, and I'm going to be showing you all of my favourite tips and tricks for sculpting out your face and yeah, doing like your brows, sculpting them out perfectly in a way that suits your face and sculpting out your face and your cheekbones and all of that good stuff. Also, I do quickly want to note, thank you guys so much for all of your feedback on my lighting. I actually did upgrade my lights, so this is a different lighting system to what I was using before. Um, so, yes, let me know if this is okay. I've dimmed them down a little bit, um, but yeah. I think it looks okay, but let me know in the comments down below if it's still too bright or if I need to turn it up a little bit. Because, yeah, I definitely just want it to look great for you guys to enjoy. But yeah, without any further ado, I'm just going to jump right into this video and I really hope you enjoy. God's plan. God's plan. I hold back sometimes I won't. Yeah. I feel good sometimes I don't. Like, yeah. I finesse down Western Road. Okay, so I've recently just groomed my eyebrows, so... They're looking good for once. Um, but I'm going to start with my brows first. I prefer starting with eyebrows when it comes to sculpting the face because they really shape out your eyes and they frame, I guess, they, they just create the basis of what you wanna, I guess, achieve in your look. So yeah, I think it all starts with eyebrows. So I'm going to start with my brows and I'm using the Inica Organic Brow Define Palette in Chestnut. So this is really cool because it's got three things here you can use. So it's got two colors. We've got chestnut light and chestnut deep. And then you've also got the brow wax to help set your brows in place. It's also got a spoolie, a little spoolie, which is so adorable. And a little um, eyebrow brush, which is what I'm going to be using to do my brows today. They are so cute. I love little minis. <laughs> so... I'm going to start by firstly brushing up my brow hairs with a little spoolie. And with my brows, I have quite thick brows, but they're quite sparse. So I always start filling them in. I'm taking the deeper shade from the palette. And I like to just fill them in more so towards the end of the brow. Because as you can see, I've got quite full brows at the beginning, but towards the end, they go a little bit more sparse. So when it comes to brows, there is a lot of trends for sculpting and filling them in. But I think it's best to, I guess, do what really suits your face best. And what suits your brow, because what other people may do may not suit your face exactly. So just like that, and I'm just going to blend that in with the front there, just a little bit. And then I'm going to just brush them up with the spoolie to make sure it all blends in. And do you see the difference between my two brows? How just a little bit of brow powder can actually change everything. So I'm just going to do the same thing on the other brow super quickly. So the brows are done just like that and to set them in place I'm going to take a little bit of that wax on the spoolie. I'm just going to rub the spoolie in it just like that so it gets a little bit of wax on it and then I'm just going to use that to brush up my brows. And this will keep my brow hairs up all day. Okay, so next is all about sculpting and contouring the face. When you do this, you don't really want it to look like a, um, 
like a brown muddy line you want your contour and the like the reason why it's called a contour is so it looks like a shadow and it like lightly contours the shape of your face so not making it obvious that you've contoured but just applying in a way that is going to sculpt and change the shape of your face ever so slightly which is why you use a cool tone shade um, because that comes up looking a little bit more like a shadow than an actual like brown line so I'm taking the Inica Organic Baked Contour Duo. This is the shade Almond, and this is what it looks like. I'm just cover that. You can see that the contour shade is a little bit more of a cool tone shade, and then the highlight is a little bit warmer, which I prefer as well because I like to add a little bit of warmth underneath my eyes um, because I do have quite a warmer toned skin. Um, and the aim of a highlight isn't to, I guess, make it look like a shadow, it's to bring light to a certain area. So you can, I guess, use um, something a little bit more cool tone if that is what you prefer. But to sculpt out and contour my face in the best way possible, I'm going to take a little bit of the contour shade on a contouring brush. And I like to start from the hollows of my cheekbones applying it directly into the hollows and just blending it out. You also want to work this up into your hairline because as I mentioned, you don't just want to make it look like a muddy line. You kind of want this to go around your face, to shape your whole face. So I guess in a kind of three shape, so you around your forehead, into the holes of your cheekbones, and around your face and around like your jawline. So with this, I'm going to bring it up ever so slightly, starting with my temples. You can start wherever you like. I know a lot of people who start around their forehead first and then bring it into the cheekbones, but I personally like to start in the middle and then work my way outwards. So I'm going to apply this all around my forehead, ever so slightly. And then I'm going to highlight my under eye to bring a little bit more light to the center of my face. So I'm going to take a little bit of the highlight shade and just brush it underneath my eyes. I'm actually also going to add that a little bit to the center of my forehead and my chin. As you can see, this side is the contoured and highlighted side, and then this one is not so much, and you can see the difference. Even when I smile, how much more lifted and glowing this side looks, and even the shape of my face is definitely looks like it's got a lot more shape, which, whereas this side looks a lot more rounded and flat. <laughs> so I'm just gonna go ahead and do the same on this side. So this is it. This is honestly the easiest and the best way to highlight and contour your face in the most natural way possible. The point of contour isn't to make it as obvious as a lot of us here in the beauty community make it. I know I am very guilty of doing it myself, but I personally find this way a lot more flattering and a lot more, I guess, natural. I personally have been prefer preferring a lot more natural makeup looks lately. It is just so flattering for everybody and it really brings out your best features. Features. So yes, this is how I like to highlight and contour my face using these products and basically on a daily basis. As I mentioned, you don't want to make a contour too evident. You just want it to lightly shape and sculpt out your face, just like this. <laughs> but yeah, and you guys know how much I love Unica Organic. They are honestly my favorite brand of organic, cruelty-free, vegan makeup. Literally, they're, I think, the only brand that I ever mentioned in my videos. That's because I love them so much. But if you guys want to check them out, I'll leave a link to their website and these products down in the description below. But yeah, this is it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you thought in the comments down below and also let me know if you would like to see more of these natural makeup tutorials on my channel because I've had a lot of you request 
them from me recently especially actually you guys seem to like a lot more natural wearable makeup looks so if that's what you want to see more of please let me know in the comments down below if you did enjoy this video give me a massive thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please do and join the family because we would love to have you and yeah that is pretty much it from me thank you guys so much again for watching and i will see you in my next video bye